Hey Rat Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a grounded guide today to cookery. Now there are a few changes that are puzzling me with the 0.14 update. This should be going live later on this week. It's been in public testing for about two or three weeks now. In fact, it's the longest we've ever had because they obviously added the shared world function. But there's a few changes with cookery that I want to go through. Obviously show you guys what the new cookery looks like. If you don't know, there is a brand new way that you'll be able to make recipes. And this is the last update before 1.0 now. And basically it's helping with progression because for longest of times you weren't able to go ahead and make any meals until you completed the haze laboratory which is about 30 percent of the game or about 50 percent of the game if you really factor in only the content we got in it right now so obviously you can make all of this you can't make any of the meals now in your actual oven for that you will need the cookery so the cookery is a default item you'll find it in the asl shop and obviously if you start a brand new game you need to go and talk to burgle it's 1,000 science points and it's cooking 101. For that, you get the cookery. You also get two recipes at the moment, which is nachos and mite loaf. Subject to change, but it looks like these are the ones we're going to start with. So this makes sense. We get a little bonus of full defense and we get a little bonus of tax stamina with the mite loaf, helping us out before we maybe unlock more of the cookbooks. It costs nine weed stems, two clay, one acid gland and one boiling gland to make the brand new cookery. There are two brand new recipes completely to the game. That's tadpaloka pudding and spaghetti flea. Both help out in water. Spaghetti flea is gonna help you have more oxygen and tadpaloka pudding is gonna give you extra swim speed plus ability to have even more oxygen. Obviously a tier three item with spaghetti flea being tier one. So what's the problem then? What's the little issue? Well, they've changed some of the recipes as well and they kind of don't make sense. Obviously things may change, I thought I'd be safe making this guide since, you know, it's been in PTB three weeks and we haven't had any actual changes to it in terms of the cooking. But when you start going through the cookbooks like the Hedge, it costs 3,500 raw science like normal. And now they've changed the recipes. We get spider slider and we get mac and bees. I do believe it was lavagna that we got as part of one of these ones. So effectively, we're getting a bonus full defense with the tier two item. And we're also getting, obviously, the critical hit chance. Both of these are tier two. So that's okay, that's great. We get more bonus food and it does more better items or better things. 3,500 points, yes please. Except when you go next to the haze, it's got a tier one item, Lavagna, which is the critical hit chance. So in my opinion, it should be the other way around. We should get Lavagna at the hedge and we should get Spider Slider with the haze. Because if you follow the order of what, how you're meant to complete Grounded, you are kind of meant to go and do the hedge laboratory before you do the haze laboratory. It's not needed 100%, but that is the kind of way we've gone about things. Unless they're really going to be mixing up how we play the game, which I don't think so at this late stage, it's always been that we get given advice to go to the hedge laboratory first. There are a couple of clues, though, that might make this change. For one, the broodmother, which is still a pretty tough boss, is obviously in the hedge laboratory. And some people kind of view it as like the last boss that you'd encounter. And you effectively have to go to the hedge and do it twice. Complete the hedge once, get the chip, turn on the power, and then come back later on to go ahead and do the broodmother. They also remove the mask, the rotten one, from where you used to get it. And you don't even actually turn on the scanners anymore in the hedge. You don't have to complete it. You can find it in one of the smaller laboratories. That's another big change. Where you see the cutscene flow towards it, that's where you need to press the power on. So you don't need to have got all the password pieces in the main hedge laboratory. It's much, much earlier. So yeah, this could hint that they want us to do the order of things a bit differently. But yeah, I just found this a bit weird. We also get the fun spatio. Obviously, that's a tier two item. And that's again going to give us a tax demo. And that seems okay. That's following on from what we've already unlocked. And of course, you are still going to need the Hayes burgle chip first before you can buy the cookbook. To get the new pond stuff, then of course it's all available as part of the cookbook pond chip. The boatman fin soup, the spaghetti flea, and a tadpaloka pudding. If you eat a boatman fin soup and spaghetti flea, you're pretty much going to get most of the benefits that you would have got from the tadpaloka pudding, except it's just a little bit less oxygen. Tadpaloka pudding costs two tadpoles, four wax, and two mints. And of course you need roast flea, as well as some pollen and some wax, to go ahead and get the spaghetti flea. And following on from that, just in case they have changed, and it's been a while since I checked these recipes, the sandbox is now Omulant and Quasiled and Lion. That seems just about right still. And the Woodpile Cook Chip, and the Woodpile Chip is Black Ox Burger Still and Termite Delights. That hasn't changed. 
Of course, there is still room for some more recipes. I fully expect there to be a, maybe another five added. I think there's just about space for two more below this. And then three more on this side. Because right now there are five tier one meals. Four tier two meals. And four tier three. So if they add one more tier two, one more tier three, that will be equal. And then just three more recipes, each in each tier. And we'll have six different meals in each tier. Cookery works just like it's always worked with the oven. Go ahead and choose what you want to make. And there we go. So yeah, a little bit odd. That may slightly change. It just seems a bit odd that you get a tier two recipe that has the same bonus before you unlock the tier one, judging by the order that we kind of all have got used to. But that's the cookery, done and dusted. Let me know what you think about that. Does the broodmother need to change location? Does the flow seem right? And do you think different recipes, what kinds will we get? Until next time, Ratbags, I'll catch you later.